Okay, it's recording. Hi, it's Suzanne. I just wanted to come on and do a real quick update because it is now two days after transfer. I had my transfer on Thursday afternoon around 345. And Russ and I ended up having two beautiful embryos transferred. This is our boy embryo. And this is our female. Um, out of 18 embryos, we did have genetic testing done. Two were inconclusive. They couldn't tell the gender. Um, and then two were female. The rest were male. Um, of the two females, only one of them made it to maturity um, and quality to um, transfer. And this is her. So she is... She's quite significant in this whole ordeal considering she was the only female. And I don't know if you can see the size difference, but look how much bigger the boy is. I mean, that kind of stuff just happens immediately, right? No. I mean, there were some smaller boys, I think. But anyway. Um, so when we got there, there was a little bit of confusion because the embryologist thought that we were going to transfer two male embryos. So we had to um, correct that little situation, and he went and got her and uh, brought us a picture of her. And, um, we, um, sorry, I got distracted. Squirrel. Um, we were able to both go back and, um, during my transfer and instead of having to wait, um, the full two week wait for my pregnancy test, I'm actually going to go in a day early because my pregnancy test was falling on a Saturday. They were going to have me wait and come in Monday. Um, I didn't really whine about it. I just told the doctor that I was, you know, a little frustrated that I had to wait an extra couple of days. And so he did some checking and um, told me that I could come in the Friday before. So that uh, means that I will be going into the office next Friday and having my test done. Um, I plan on doing a pregnancy to home, a home pregnancy test on Christmas Day just to see if there's any development. Um, two days after transfer, there's no need to talk about any kind of symptoms or anything like that because I think that would just be crazy. Any symptoms that I'm having right now is due to all of the hormones um, that I've been injecting myself with and pills that I've been taking. Um, I'm still on my S-Trace twice a day. I'm taking my baby aspirin once a day. Um, my progesterone injections once an evening, um, and that's probably my biggest complaint through all of this is that the progesterone injections make my hips quite sore. Um, I was doing ice and a uh, heating pad um, intervals the other day, and that really seemed to help, and I think I'm going to do that again tonight. But since the transfer, this will actually be my first day to get out of the house, and I'm really excited about it because I'm, I'm stir crazy. I'm, I've been taking it easy, um, trying to keep my stress levels down more than even my activity level, but just my stress levels down. And but I got to tell you, I'm ready to to get out and at least go for a drive. Um, well, actually, I guess I did last night for a little bit, but. Sorry, I am very tired. <laughs> I've been very tired, and I think that's from the progesterone. Um, but just one last thing, and then I'm going to wrap this up. But I, I was actually really surprised to see these guys because, you know, this isn't my first IVF cycle. Um, I've gone through IVF twice before, um, and I do know that on the first IVF cycle where we were using my eggs, I had three blastuses that we had transferred and they didn't look like this. There was no two of them. There was just the one. So I think this looks like um, Blastus is hatching, doesn't it? And I'm so mad that I didn't ask the, um, the embryologist about that. So he called me, was it today or yesterday? He called me yesterday and left a voice message that the other, because we were going to let, let the other female embryo have one more day to see if she would um, grow enough to possibly be able to freeze. And she didn't. So we have four male embryos frozen. So if this doesn't work, we still have uh, opportunity to um, go for it again. But, um, anyway, that's it. Day two. I'm, I'm okay. I'm not, you know, freaking out too bad. I know as the days go on, it'll probably get worse. But, um, since I got promoted the day I had my transfer, um, I have a lot to do. Um, so that's why I knew I just really needed to lock myself away for a few days and, and not immediately, you know, get after work stuff. Um, and it's not just like going to the office and, and having new responsibilities. I have to go open up an office. So I have to go look for office space and 
furniture and hire an admin and and have all new responsibilities on top of that. So it's a lot, but I can do it. And um, I have a lot of support and that's very important. So um, here we go. Day two, maybe I'll come back day five or the 25th, five days from now on the 25th, Merry Christmas. And uh, tell you if we've done a test or if I'm gonna wait and see. Um, what the doctor's office says rather than doing a home test. I'm probably not going to make it that long. I'm gonna... So, see you then.